in 19th century Romania, celebrating a wedding, christening or other party without the rollicking rhythm of the kobza was unthinkable. But then the unique instrument, a cousin of the lute, fell out of fashion. Now, however, young enthusiasts like Florin and his wife Beatrice have rediscovered its beauty. Their band plays across Europe. This instrument, which is now neglected, hides an incredible musical heritage. It has great value, and I think we mustn't abandon it so easily. Vasile Nika sings of love and the forests of his homeland, or just improvises the lyrics. His 80-year-old Kobza, plucked with a goose quill, is even older than him. He learned in the traditional way, the skill handed down by a professional troubadour, or lautar, and paid for his lessons with a sheep. It's a treasure. You know, when you don't love something, you do things without really wanting to do them. If I own something, I use it, but that doesn't mean that I put my heart into it. But when I take the kobza into my arms, I don't need food, I don't need anything anymore. <laughs> Vasile is one of the last traditional kobza players in the world, but to his great regret, his son and grandchildren didn't want to take it up. However, the kobza hasn't necessarily played its last note. Young people aren't interested in the sound of our past. I know this because I teach at the university. But a moment will come soon when they'll want to know how the world of their grandparents and great-grandparents sounded like, where they came from and who they are. That moment may have already come. Dozens of young people gathered for a Kobza concert earlier this year at one of Bucharest's most famous clubs.